Hey, hello. We're back with more remnant here. Oh. The last we left off, we gone through the labyrinth and now have access to more worlds. Well, two more right now. Figure out, find the segments, take them back, How's the progress. War treating you? I could yeah. She's very stuffed, boy. Knuckle dusted. I guess weapon wise, I'm also pretty fine. <laughs> Remember, choices you make. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did all this at the end of last stream. Okay. Let's go back. First. Instead of continuing progressing, this today's stream is not going to be as long as the previous two because I definitely have to make dinner today. And, uh, well, so nice. Can create an adventure mode. Honestly, that'd be interesting. But we're going to go back to Lawson because somebody, a friend of mine who played the game said I should. Investigate some things a bit more. They said Iron Bro, to be specific. Well, they, they name dropped a couple other places, but I didn't see those names on the list on the, the map. So that's understandable. Because you know how the game is. This should be pretty easy. Oh. Kill the outside. Actually, this weapon is probably a bit more on par. Got your right row. Honestly. Fit. But I think okay. Let me stop. Oh, the stuff you listen. Hold up. Come on. Be good for uh watch stream kinda marinate for a sec. Alright. No, it's got it covered. Double check. If there's anywhere I'm not 100% on if I've been everywhere, it's, it might be one of the sewers, honestly. Sewers are kind of not the most exciting to navigate. Hey, Handler 7. I think it goes up to 10. I still don't have. Attack dog. And that's not even the next level. It's another point into kinship. Our handler archetype trait. And a buff to teamwork. Or uh, another effect to teamwork. Yeah. And a command gain increased revised speed. Revised speed increases 30%. They also receive less damage. Yeah. I spoke to those friends and they were like, yeah, Handler's a solid choice for solo. He's like the easy choice. I'm like, the easy choice? 
like, well, when you compare it to a melee build or a melee build of the challenger or, or um, precision shots like a uh, hunter. So I'm like, eh, yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. So ship. Hello? Sir? Weird. There's other archetypes I can find, or just unlock the other ones. That's what I would like to get figured out, but <clears throat> I don't know all the details, you know. Only cryptic ones. So I should check Iron. Specify where they just said somewhere an iron bar. Better look for somewhere that's kind of further. Somewhere that's kind of further out of the map. Not out of the map, but like, doesn't look directly reachable. I guess maybe I should be exploring the edges more. It was weird that something actually came out of the grate. I haven't seen that before. Spooky. Don't fit. Although I doubt that's nothing. This game seems to be quite deliberate and even the smaller things it does, like the frickin' Jester Man. I wonder if that's what they're talking about, because that's different. Hello? Rax living in the sewers, dirty fiends. What the hell? Is it that Hey, Dino. Maybe that is what it was. Oh shit, how do I... <laughs> well, I've got enough of that. How do I do it then? Surely something has to happen. Won't fit. Yeah, I know. I could try re- well, not reloading the area, but waypointing. Which I am... <laughs> I have forgotten which one it was. <laughs> oh no. The Aurora Borealis above us, for who knows what reason. This isn't... Okay, I came from here and then I went right. Right? Or did I come from right? Or, um, no, that is where I went, but what's the one... What the fuck? Yes, Aurora Borealis. At this time of day. <laughs> At this time of year, localize in your backyard. I don't remember the entire lines. I've also made that joke the first time I came here. It was this one, right? Fuck. Well, if it's this one, this one's oh, looks close. Like I'm full up. So maybe, just maybe. I'm not stupid. Or maybe, just maybe, I am stupid. No, I'll try reloading, because Lord knows 
in your souls, your, your average souls game reloading area tends to fix things. Alright, so we get to shoot more Brexit people. Probably not something I should say out loud. So here it is. It's not working this time. Unless it moves. That's too really obnoxious if it moves. Or worse, I have to reload the game. <laughs> that would be terrible. This bullet's got your name on it. If you're uh, old enough to vote on the referendum. It's a bit more Yogg's cast. <laughs> That's my fill of British humor. Is this Andy dead. Come out, Jenny. <sighs> um, trying to go the rants, the ratsmen, the skaven. Oh yeah, I finally saw like I saw some footage of that Warhammer game. That looked, looked pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. As somebody who knows literally nothing about Warhammer, that looked pretty cool. This is where the Huntress was. Half wanting to try uh, adventure mode of Lothram. Oh boy. Adventure mode would be interesting. Hello? Nope. No mm -hmm. visitors. I know I can't pick up the ammo ding dong, it's just a habit. Know more about Fantasy Warhammer than 3K? Fantasy Warhammer. I don't know the differences between anything Warhammer based. Like, I know Vermintide's a thing. 
40k. Blood for the blood god. Look alive! Intruders! Very basic stuff. Ah. I wonder if that's what they were referring to. Because there's an... Because there was an enemy on that ledge up there before. I kind of wondered if the... Uh, it would ever be possible to get up there. Because it was weird that an enemy was up there. Oh! I did not see that guy. Urban Tide is fantasy? Oh. So that makes sense. What the? Honsu, why are you here? Oh yeah, you can't switch when it's overheated. Probably melee, but you can't switch weapons. Look alive! Okay. Hello. Nope. No, it's not the ladder. Not for me. Peekaboo. No. No. Bag's full. This giant really got to clean up after of themselves. This place is filthy. Really put the. Really put the. The piss and peasant. <laughs> and we made it to the sewers that I do not want to go into. Hmm. I don't know. I hope it's not a full, like, restart of everything. I mean, I guess this game doesn't take that long to load back in, but I don't know. Out of room. <clears throat> Have there been any occasions in the Souls games where it was favorable to quit out than it was to reload the area, bonfire? I'd say maybe, honestly. Strong kind of to that. I think those stupid crows were kind of the big thing with that. I'm not sure about anything else, really. I just want to be your friend. God damn. Don't Rats. let them escape! Why don't the rats want to come out of their hole? Little bastards. Trespassers! Kill them! I don't. No, great. No Very <laughs> <laughs> cool. I don't want to, I could try resetting it. This is... Well, let's go back to War 2 team. Maybe doing that would help. Return under the ill-fated. 
Ooh. Save or quit game, whatever. For some weird reason, I doubt quitting game, and this game does anything. This game just doesn't feel like that's at all something it cares about. Rocket fuel. I don't want to inject myself with rocket fuel. I'll have you know. I think the effects of it are... Great series and Tiller's Rest. Burden of the Gambler. Better to rely on skill and preparation than chance. But if the odds are already weighted against you, might as well. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, I hit his weapon. He threw a cleaver at me and I shot it out of the air. this time. Negative. Well, we're working on a different one. I don't know if I want to go through the whole area to find out. But if it doesn't happen again, I'm, it's going to be pretty upsetting. Missing out on cool content because I... Well, I'm not even really sure what I did do, but apparently I didn't do it. Then again, if it, with a game that already puts you in one branch of progression, that's like cut off from other possible progression, you're bound to have to play the game over and over and over again to get everything, so I guess it makes sense. Not your standard, play the game twice the to get everything, because usually the choices are like, usually the choices are of two, as opposed to god knows however many permutations you can get from this game. Where were you when they when the sounded? But this shows not really have anything. I'll just leave and continue normal progression. Or we could try adventure man. It would be interesting to see. Just how different could it be? Interesting, those guys were also fighting the big dude. Did I look at this one yet? Mr. Grabby. Come out and play. Oh yeah. Granted, with how long it took me to beat Lowsome last time. <laughs> it took me like 10-ish hours, was it? Dead end. Show another campaign of or an adventure mid campaign of this and uh, might take a while. I don't know. I guess it depends on how different it is too. Like, what if it's really different? 
Of course I'm gonna be a slow pick again. So, you know, I wanna absorb the game. Slowly but steadily. Here they come. Like a trace card, but you it. <laughs> That's a lot of cool loot I could get, you know. Get working. Find the good stuff. Uh -oh. oh, you can't even melee. the game up a lot <laughs> on my end. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't be too opposed to an adventure mode run, just to see how different it yeah, could be. Cool. I mean, you've already described it as being quite different to some extent. Look alive, intruders! Yeah, so I'm gonna play the game with a local. Okay, what I'm going for. Ow. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, only punch. Yeah. No room for that. Never mind. I don't need cubes. The cube. Am I stuck? No. Uh, a friend of mine told me I should investigate Iron Boro more. And I did find one thing that was different. Which was the little fella in the sewers tried to grab me. But it didn't... <laughs> I guess his reach was shit. Because it didn't grab me. But I can't seem to replicate it, which is... Because I'm, I'm half convincing myself that it was more of a like random thing that means nothing. But in this game, I can't assume there are things that just mean nothing. Tell me you can't climb this. Whatever. But yeah, I think I'm kind of done here. I wanted to hear more Brexit people. The, f the way they say things is funny. Yeah, but I'm not, in, like I'm saying, I'm not in. A, I'm not against the idea of maybe at least dipping my toes in the waters of uh, trying out adventure mode. Hey, Quince. Because, like, this campaign will always exist. But what is an adventure mode? The convergence of the Fey and Dran realms have given birth to a twisted and chaotic world where nothing is quite as it seems and confusion reigns supreme. The convergence of the Fey and Dran realms. So, those two worlds that were just shoved into each other? No wonder the people are so, like, freaking out. I just am curious what 
loathsome adventure would it even be? Like, it just... How different you can go to those worlds you've completed? Yeah. <clears throat> I am... I'm just curious how different the experience would be. Especially if, um... What's it called? You can have, like, two completely different paths or something. The Beatific Palace. I'm assuming I can't open this. Yeah. Adventure mode's pretty fun. Last time I played an advent a game with an adventure mode. Mm. It caused me pain. Yeah, pretty. yeah, I don't trust this place. <sighs> I'm talking about Don't Starve. So my quest is to find these two faces and then kill man's 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 man again though. But the steps to get there might be different. I did say if we ever get to this point again, we'd go for the other one this time. We kill Fei Lin or Fate. Which one did I kill? <laughs> the dark one. I killed Fate. Yeah, 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 that guy. We killed. We, we didn't kill man's man's man, we killed boy's man man. Man, whatever. Stopped halfway through the last DLC. Yeah, I saw there were two DLCs. One of Losum and one of Yesha. Wait, can I go down here? Oh, this is still blocked. I didn't open this door in the my campaign of the Beatific Palace. I wasn't sure if that door would even open. No. Do I have... I don't even have my key items from this place. You're really good at the trap, dog. I... Completely changes the place. Yeah, there was something really, like... Like, the set piece areas, like this grand hall, kind of... They look so set in stone, but there were some parts particularly the sewers that looked that gave me like procedural generation deja vu but I wonder if the I mean, this is still in the same place oh great the pontus is that So far it's identical, but we'll see. The Peace of the Forest King, this is the exact same book. Moral of the story, <laughs> don't beat the job hawk. important. <laughs> don't be a job hawk, that's the moral of the story. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. It's just how it's spelled. <laughs> In that case, our goal would be to find the Yester. Yep. Yep. Shoot that. Whoop. Yeah. Or. My guess is, and I haven't been to the other two worlds, so I can't say how they do it, but the murals probably lead me to different places. This area is probably the same, but the murals lead 
I could exactly remember which mural leads where from the campaign. Nice. Just play the DLCs for free if you invite me into a world and then leave. If it lets me stay? That's a good question. That's the kind of Thought experimenting, myth busting, I like to see. I don't know. It's what we liked about Payday and its ability to, uh. Where? Oh. Oh, right, 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 this way. It's what we liked so much about Payday 2, and, and Payday 3 also did it. It was, um. People didn't own the DLC, you could still invite them to play those missions if you'd owned it. <clears throat> Actually, there's there's a good chunk of games that do do that, honestly. Those multiplayer heavy games. Or other stuff. Solaris does that, and it's really fun. Because only one of us has to own all the cool stuff. The person who hosts has said on the cool stuff though. Some won't let you join. Yeah. <clears throat> like Rescue Rain 2 has its two DLCs. And like the progression you can invite a friend to, they just can't unlock the characters or items. They can still use the items in your run, but they won't unlock it for themselves. It's like, that's cool. That I'm appreciative of, because I think that that's a, I think that's a good balance between owning the content and like high riding on somebody else's through somebody else's invitation to enjoy the content. It also works well as a like a uh, a taste of the content. Yo, big man! I find this gun a bit unfortunate you have to... You can't change weapons. Uh, the friend doesn't own it. Let me finish my thought real quick, and then I'll get rid of that. If this gun overheats, you can't switch off of it or melee, which is very annoying. But I guess that's more of a reason to not overheat. Um, back to the DLC talk. I know there's. I'm trying to think of games I've played that have had DLCs like that that are that are exclusive even if the host owns it. I can't remember. I guess I don't play too many multiplayer games that would even have that issue. Or well, multiplayer games in general. And switch gun, you know. Reload forehead. I have a mural here. Hello again, Jester. second now, buddy. Do 
so I had to have the giant ass skylight. Thanks, man. The juggler. Now, are you in this place for a reason? Because I mean. <laughs> you know. Alright, let's see where this takes us. I don't remember where some of these took us. Thinking like this is like taking a load off your shoulders. This is the council chamber again. We could try indicting the wrong one. If they are all still alive, they sure are. Hello, posers. Petitioner you are. Not of the Fey, nor of the denizens of this new world. Send it away then. Fey law is not for us. <laughs> On the contrary, Onru. Though its rules differ for Fey and non, Fey law applies to all within the one true king's domain. Come, Petitioner. Step up to the podium. Yo. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. Okay, Your we've, we've already gone through all this before. I'm surprised there's not like a... Would be funny if there's like a... Haven't we, haven't we been here before? It's none of your business. I'm just going to be hostile this time. It is precisely our business, beast. We are the Council of the One True King, the only remaining ruling body of the Fae. Here, your life lies upon but a thread, interloper. They are a foreigner, Onuril, and unfamiliar with our ways. Petitioner, your identity remains your own, but you must state your business before the council. Your fit is mid, and you probably get no bitches. Oh, you see, it wastes our time. <laughs> mm, a pity. I had hoped for more stimulating distraction. If that is all you have to say, Petitioner, then please step aside. We have quite enough troubles to occupy our time. You have wasted quite enough of our time for. Only real speaks true, but. Our ki The one true. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. That is what. That's. A great the, the king but yeah if yeah i know, I know. we've yeah. heard this before excuse it it me see we pee i will answer and right and you do regardless so <laughs> we now know. can you is that if we would an in uh they are no nor, uh, nor uh, for uh, the law on this we all agree the impost so if, if how do you make trust me? Just a food. There is no the at Yeah, bear sixty class. <laughs> the king some believe. Indeed. Imagine what please this all Oh I love that line. Why don't you just wake him up, forehead? It's like, oh he's a genius. Damn, why didn't we think As of that? <laughs> just, just the mean sarcasm of it. Why don't you just go to the upside down? Wake up the king. Just go. Wait, wake up. Fool. Yeah, I'm doubting that this. Well, I guess bosses and events could be different. I don't know. So I vaguely remember last time I was in the council chamber area, there was some. Um, there was like a kind of boss guy that showed up. Get a boss health bar out. That's all I remember. I like these guys with the wings out. They, they have crit spots or weak spots. But I'm all good. The armored guys, understandably, don't take 
rooftop damage to the head. On account of their helmets. Is that the majority of these people trying to kill me? But then the counts were like not immediately trying to kill me, you know? Actually, that's a good question. Why? Oh. Why are all these goobers trying to kill me? Is it? Like, the really important people don't seem to care about my presence. Also, toilet water. Delicious. Good on that elf girl bath water. I don't even think there's more to this room than I originally discovered. Which is nothing. What am I to do? Well, I'll probably have to do with the flames. So these are all inverted. Or not inverted, but. See what it's doing. Hmm. What the? Oh.
Where are y'all coming from? Cooldown skills, I'm saying. Nice. It's fun for having all the flimsy white, I assume. Oh. oh. Well, I guess I could always go back to the campaign one, because I did not do this puzzle there. Without the fire, probably not. Five percent of my power generation continued during an active mode. Don't like that.
Iron, so it's nice. I wonder if that's level based. Here we see the upside down mirror. Or the mirror to the upside down. Whatever. I think that they're here. I don't like the looks of this. What the? Statues weirdly aren't coming to life. I mean, I probably will if I shoot them, but I don't need to. Wow, wow. This again. Oh, it just gets turned to scrap because I already have one. That's fine. Time to cast us. I forget what the word is. Whatever. I said it's him and not give any evidence. 
Might as well do something different, eh? side up. Stranger, if you were it is, are you prepared? Then speak. What? It's preposterous! I won't ask you for proof of such a frivolous accusation, for <laughs> there is none you could have. Wait. Oh, I didn't inspect the knife. But I guess I'm supposed to inspect it before I can say it. Well, let's just be antagonistic, I guess. I fear you have misunderstood your task entirely. And yet, the consequences were made quite clear. Indeed. You have wrongfully and willfully brought charges of treason against the Council of the One True King. Your life, creature, is therefore forfeit. Yet, mm. you have brought this Council together again. If only to destroy you. Uh oh. Well, if I should have said a call, it's not good. What the? What? He didn't spawn bullets. Man, they did not even try. Why oh, the king got to serve you? Such a fighter. Ow. Oh. That was difficult. Increase max health and stamina by 10 and reduces encumbrance by 5. Cool. That's a nice ring. I've got where to go. <laughs> Aren't really sorted by like. Oh, jeez. I don't know what it looked like. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's probably a little better. Yeah, they did not put up that good of a fight, to be honest. Well, I guess it's good enough. Good. 
Ça va rien. Cool. <laughs> yeah, why is that good at that? Over that. Um, yeah, they talk it's like big game, and they all put up really Some things not right. <laughs> really poor performances. Law of the conservation and law of the conservation. Like we were just here earlier. Crazy feeling, am I right? Oh, well, maybe it'll work this time. Whoa. Jesus! I think it works. <laughs> Yeah, they did only attack one at a time. Where the... Where the poop? Okay. Okay, you're actually a fighter. Trap dungeon? It's not like I haven't fought one of these guys before, but... Wallace knows what this is? Well, I saw the... I saw him do it earlier. Like, try to grab me out of the series. But it, like... 
I guess it didn't work. Or something. I tried to replicate it before and nothing happened. Or it wouldn't happen again. Oh. This is that little dead end spot. Huh. I didn't know there was more to this area. That's crazy. Ooh. Yeah. So I knew that would happen. I didn't know he would actually drag me into the I guess I should have figured because that's kind of what it looked like. Got you in my side. I picked up on the serious stone. Stone touches this has been sought after on Earth for millennia. The fact that it's real and that it exists here raises so many questions. Prima materia, the substance from which all matter is birthed, the fundament of life and substance of chaos. All that is fake can be traced back to this stone, and stone can be traced back to all that is fake. What the fuck is it going on about? Sounds like a stone of creation. Hey, bruiser man. Dealing melee damage against two sacks of bulwark. Ooh. Does not stack with itself. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Something held by a random monkey rat in the British series. Well, they as darks. Kill him first! Hey, everything and winds up walking to the lowest point of the lowest point of it. You never know what you'll find in the series. But they'll always be there, even once everyone is gone. There will only be sewers. My quantum cube. This is it. Okay, who's throwing me this? Or did he just explode and he died? <laughs> this is weird. This place is full of crazy people. Typical, typical blighty. What the? Duran child. Duran Duran? I don't know why that took me so long to put together. Children, let me in. Wait a second. Yeah, this isn't the Huntress's like grotto anymore. This is some a completely different place. This is like the first very obvious different thing so far. Duran Duran. I am hungry like a wolf. Fuck off! You don't name your, can't name your character in this game, so I don't... They could not be a Duran Duran. You also can't really customize their face that much. So it wouldn't work anyway. I have a signature. Do so I have to go the around path to get to the children, I guess? Oh god, little British children. I gave my mummy. My mummy, you are. 
Oh, I love it here in Bloodborne Town. It's always my call. This. this is just... It's like if Yarnum was shoved together with Anirlando. Oh, I hear. Can I have these puppets for me? Shut up. Gotta have that wish. Wish. Yes, you can, sir. This is my bit of porridge. Now, how spot on was my impression? <gasps> I just grabbed it again. Alive when you're dead. Ho -ho. It's a spot on as my tail is. I don't know why I do it better when I lish. But I guess it's just exaggerated. <laughs> Children, let me in. I promise. All the people on the streets outside I killed, they tried to kill me first, honest. You have nothing to fear. I killed the sewer rat monster. And I got his gallstone or something. Look alive. It's, <laughs> it's closer to how they sound. <laughs> oh, he had me a right tummy tummy too. I always kept the other dice and shoot me in that kind of thing. I'm about to take your head for her majesty, I am. <laughs> they all sound like this. Pepper Pig was right. <laughs> Mommy? Uh oh. Back up, I will all shoot. <laughs> yeah, these like Ripper guys. I've only seen this one. Well, I really only. I, I don't really pay attention to their death animation that many times. There was one really cool death animation where the Ripper falls, like, he falls backwards and the Ripper falls on him and, like, gashes himself out. It was pretty cool. Because they don't ragdoll like the normal enemies do. They have, like, actual death animation. Well, I guess normal enemies do too, but it's a little different. I think I know more Aus I don't know more Australian slang, but like <laughs> all my stupid Australian slang would probably be from Dragon Ball Z. Jake. We're gonna have a blooming it's gonna be a blooming schlubber knocker it is. But they were like that's probably because they were really hamming up the Australianism. So of course, it's been pretty good anyway. As long as I'm in Lozum, or like, the Dran part of Lozum, it really does feel like a soul or like, 
I'm doing Slayer and Yarnum for no apparent reason. I just took the wrong bus. I went in the, the wrong hell. And Beatificalis does look like it too, but it also kind of looks like weird other fantasy stuff. The game, the one game I keep referencing, God of War. They do kind of look like light elves. <laughs> kind of. Okay. We did it, guys. We reached the children. Good job, us to light up. All right. I probably do want to end stream soonish because I play this would be a slightly shorter stream today because I kind of want to do things. Or I have to go like make dinner and whatnot. Um. Yeah, this is definitely different from the other places. Ma'am. Not much of a talker, eh? Children, you want to pet the dog? No? Ch children? Ma'am? Okay then. It really shows me just walking around in this place. Taking their skill duration relic. What? What, what do these people want? Why can't I speak to them? Oh, I mean... Can I go up? No. <laughs> there are some people in like... There, there's some of the kids that are in like the rafters, it looks like. Huh? Oh, there are. Hello. Why she no sprechen de Deutsch to me? Ma'am. Answer me, woman. Okay, maybe that's not. Okay. Speaker, I'll take one of the kids. Okay. No, no. Oops. How about that? <laughs> Speaker, I'll destroy your furniture. Damn! <laughs> Man, it's got a thick head. Now these kids just won't. Well, I don't expect the kids to speak, but. I, mean, I don't know. Do I have masks on or blindfolds? I'm making a giant quilt. Oh. Or a blanket, whatever. See some of the loathsome weirdos. The council that I killed. Sewer monsters. Sewer critters. Or that is. That one guy I killed. That other guy I killed. Wait, you're showing me a lot of things I've killed. Um, alright, then you take care. Interesting. This place is like kind of barricaded off, too. Where? I wonder what they want. By a good time, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ay. Oh, I hear a lot less than I used to. I don't let him be up there. Run! <laughs> ah! But why? I can't wait to discuss this over to you and something. Let's get through that. Stop dropping and roll, Pooch. Stop dropping and roll. Guys, I help you. We're good now, right? Right? Figured. Mm. Thanks, fool. War never changes, but people, neither do they. Back here. Going back to the orphanage. Maybe we have to find the little, little shit stains. And oh. Okay. Uh. 
can finish endurance, but damn, do I want it? Yeah, baby, look at that stamina bar. Mm. Tag, you're it. <laughs> cool. All right, here's one of the sewer entrances. Oh yeah, this is the sewer entrance. Oh, lovely place. Um, let's go. Finish exploring this area first. Especially if we got little damn crotch goblins running around. I think that line's even more poignant considering, you know, they're like elvish people. The dram. These people are crazy, I swear to God. Or whatever the hell y'all believe in. I swear to Dran Jesus, these people are crazy. I didn't go that way. Looks like the kids ran back, I think. Where to drain Jesus? What the? F He's a wizard. Say if some of your children, uh, I think. How y'all doing? Listen, blessed Whoa. stranger, for returning this child to me. I thank you. What? I don't uh, have much to give, but here, take this. See how far you travel to get here. I am the Oracle of the Dram, and in this space. There's very little I don't see. For example, our world here, it got broken, you see. But we'll stitch it right, one patch at a time. Just like this quilt. What the fuck? That's not the first question I'd ask this lady, my guy. This world lost its way on its own. Lost sight of what mattered. Change was inevitable. That change came more swiftly than anyone imagined. And now that it's here, we must finish it. Or it'll finish us. Every thread, every patch, makes the change more complete. Until it's whole, and we find ourselves again. Even you, now that you're here, have your own patch to sew. You must find the one who did this. The one what brought the change, and smashed our worlds together. Huh. Let's smash them together. Oh, I wish I could tell you, dear. But I only see the spaces where this being ought to be. I ain't yet seen where they are. Or even if they are, I reckon that there's someone who walks between worlds, such as yourself, will have less trouble finding such a being. Stay the course. I feel right certain you'll find what you're looking for. Weird. Of course. Ask me anything you want, my dear. It was an unexpected patch, I'll admit. Stitched in all of a sudden like. But now that it's here, I do believe it's the patch we needed. Oh, don't hear me sideways, dear. I know it ain't all fancies and fortunes. Some of these creatures are feeding on the poor dram. And the dram, well, most of them can't see or refuse to see what's happening. It must be terrifying for all, but it's growing pains. Mark my words, once the stitching's done, <laughs> we'll be right as rain. Why do you speak to these children? Ah, that. I've been 
given eyes to watch over my people, and a heart to protect them, but no voice of my own in exchange. To speak to my people, I must speak through them. That is the way of it, my children. Now, they are those what got nowhere else to go. But they choose me, and I'm mother to them more than any other dram. I am sorry if it's disturbing, but do understand, these children are willing speakers on my behalf. Do you not mind controlling them anyway? Of course I could, but they're shy. I'm sure you can understand. But they ain't got no compunctions about speaking for me. Makes them feel important, it does. <laughs> Indeed. Truth is, some folk only ever see what they want to see. For if they open their eyes to the facts, it'll mean ripping out every stitch left holding them together. So, I understand those what can't see, but their blindness makes things so much worse for the rest. Those what can see have it terrible. They can't ever go back to the way things were. But there ain't no one to give them the help they need. Have mercy on them, dear. <laughs> Until the stitching's done, they more than most bear the terrible, unwanted burden of the truth. Didn't I already tell you, my dear? Aye. That's it there. Sure as sugar, life is <laughs> the quilt. And the quilt is life. And we're all part of the patchwork. None can see the whole. Till the whole is done, all we can do is stitch it in, one patch at a time. This patch is what ain't been stitched Weird. in yet. But that don't make them less a part of the whole. It just means the quilt ain't finished. And like these children here, stitch to their parents. Though, their parents ain't around no more. And they were stitched to me too before we met. For all Dran are a part of each other. Quilt and Dran are the same, my dear. And not just the Dran. We're all this quilt. It's just that all the patches ain't been sewn in yet. Maybe never will be. At least, not in a single run-through. Run-through? Life's just a rehearsal for something else, isn't it? You might feel all of us get more than that, don't we? You! You live and die and live again! But it's all part of the same quilt. Every patch of your life's telling a single story. How meta. And others will be sewn in. And so the quilt continues, on and on, until it's complete. Oh, we'll know when we know. Until then, we just keep stitching in our stories, one patch at a time. Oh, before you go, I've got something to show you. This uh. quilt is the life of this world. I've said as much before, I think. And whether you know it or not, you've been working towards its completion. When you're out there helping the Dran, facing their monsters, every ordeal's a patch on this quilt, and it's half done now. You're as much to thank for that as I am. Perhaps more so. I wanted to share my joy with you, love. So here, a small token of my appreciation. Weird. I won't hold you up no longer, child. Just wanted you to know. Quilted heart. Okay. Yes? What is it? Oh. I guess there was something else to ask. So are these things I've done? Cause like that kind of makes sense. I dealt with them. I mean, I thought one of them. But that's, this is something I've done like a different time, I think. I don't know. It's weird. I kind of like I thought these, these were like bosses I thought, I think. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But it's interesting, nonetheless. <laughs> Give me a relic. Result provides standard healing. I'm used to negate stamina drain and causes the base to heal over 15 health over 0.25 seconds, okay. less 20 seconds.
That's pretty wild. It's like super evasive. Yeah, that heals. That, this would heal a lot more health than my normal heal flasks. I guess I can't see the, the stamina drain negation, but that's cool. I like that. Gotta yeah, change all the relic, the fragments as well. Oh lord, I have so many. And you can't sort these by anything. I'd imagine similar ones are next to each other, but... Wait, cracked and ordinary. What is the difference between cracked and ordinary? I'd assume it was it's better, but I don't know. I wonder if it reflects the time. Last 25.5 seconds, it actually does reflect the time. That's funny. I wouldn't say an extra half second is gonna make it bring anything there.
Sorry about that. I'll just stop for a sec. Um, just pulled away. Okay. For that. Well, that's what you think. But as soon as it lead to the other sewer bit, I guess. I don't know. Perhaps. Should be able to upgrade the cube again a few times once I get back. <laughs> oh. This is different. I don't believe. I had a city leading to a... Uh, no. Huh. What the hell? The Postulant's Parlor? That's... I don't think that's... one. From... one I've been to before. Okay, we're a completely new... Dungeon, quote unquote. Yo, big digi. How you doing? Hey. Don't mind me. Just going through the gilded halls. This way. I wonder why it's called Losem if it's two worlds. How's the day been, Dig? This stuff is locked. Map design seems pretty sol solid, super atmospheric. I like the music that plays oh, here and there. There's music anymore. that plays for like when you enter places and when important things happen and then when there's fights. It's really nice. It's really. <clears throat> Fitting for the area. Deadlock? I'm not familiar with Deadlock. Oh. Oh, Valve mode in early access? Yeah, if it's Vel, I'm probably not going to be able to play it, because that sounds like Scenic. Yep. Good try out my new heal class. Not class, but... Ambience is leagues better than the first. This is just the first world to of the three so far for me at least. And I guess there's the intermediary one, but each world is like completely different from each other. They are very unique experiences from each other. Ooh. And this may not even be the first world you get in your campaign either. 
as uh, dinos constantly pointed out. <clears throat> this mix of like not enough room. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna keep saying Anerlando because that's kind of what it looks like. This weird mix of Anerlando and then like you can teleport to what's essentially Bloodborne Town of like streets and wastrel people with guns and pitchforks and shit. Oh, no more room. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan. This place is nice and opulent. It's also like two halves of some bullshit. Not gonna pretend I know how that works, but you know. Hello! Characters are cryptic and weird. The enemies are interesting. Muddy and ugly, yeah. What the hell? I this guy's pulling me. What this isn't woman. New mutator bottom heavy. I wonder if that's that's for weapon. That's for guns. Grant's fire rate increases for every ten percent of magazine missing. I wonder if that would be good for this gun because of or for the cube gun because the magazine is based on the cubes. Yeah. Oh, it auto slotted into right because I didn't have a mat mutator for it. Okay, it doesn't look like it really is obvious. Yeah, I played a bit of Remnant 1 to a certain point, and the uh, atmosphere was very samey. I don't know how much different it got. My curse is going away. <laughs> Chip, 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 chip. I also didn't finish on that one. <laughs> I didn't hate the atmosphere, to be fair. It was like a weird type of Last of Us, kind of. Oh god. It was like Last of Us, but a different type of. Ooh. Ah, I don't know. This game does reference post apoc world. Yeah, this game does reference the events of the first game a lot. It's incomplete. You have a code vein. I never picked code vein. Oh my god. I don't that. I'm still cursed. Oh, you know what? I have a ring that gets rid of curse. Ring of grace. This, this inventory sorting is kind of bad, I will say. Wait, are they... Oh, it's alphabetical. I'm stupid. 
If only I could remember. Oh, it's called Hex Ward. Ah, no, I'm still cursed. Okay. I guess prevent is not the same as completely removes. Oh, yeah, it's very cool. Alchemist. No, not that. Priest of base lasted by 6% while suffering from a negative status or blight. Well, I mean, that would work right now. This is kind of weird. I was only able to go through some of the rooms. Hmm. A lot of these environments have really weird puzzle elements to them. They're cryptic nonsense. Hello? Okay. What the? Yeah, I think what the indeed. What am I trying to do here? Oh, that I didn't mean to back up. I meant to select a different piece, but I guess I could probably just do that. So. Okay. Here. What am I trying to do? <laughs> yes, but the men line. Dude, your wings are too big. Oh my god, this guy. Royal nice. hunting bow, what? Designed for hunting, high crit chance, bonus damage weeks, but hits on low sound profile. Corrosive rounds? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, reloading? That might be good for a bow, because I'm sure it counts each arrow as a reload. So you play again. Oh, what? <laughs> this guy. Door locked. Okay, the pieces in this game are replicating the rooms, kind of. Uh. What happens if he connects a line? I assume something bad happens, but let's try it anyway.
I have no idea what that did. The door just opened. So if a black face is on a space, it locks the the way to that room, I guess? Because it locked off that room from my point of my... from where I could cross from. We could investigate that. That's locked. This is locks. This was previously locked. Oh, I can I can actually see the fire rate increasing there. that thing again. One percent for every ten percent of magazine missing. I guess one percent's not that crazy of a uh, boost, but Yeah, that one's locked, because that's where the other one is. The other black piece. Out of room. Healing effectiveness, that'd be nice. It's a tome. Yes. I haven't been to those two rooms at all, and I haven't opened that, this door over here for some reason. Definitely. I guess that would be like losing humanity. Interesting. So I need to get into those two top, those two right hands. Please. 
Oh. Oh, that increased my curse. Oh, what the... <laughs> this is an interesting set. Okay, well, I can't have a black piece at the top. That's just, just... no. Okay. Okay, this is it. With my sword out, this game looks like <laughs> it looks like death to me. Okay, there's so nothing in this room. So there's only one door I haven't opened yet.
Oh, it's still ongoing, right. I did it again. I think I'm cooked. <laughs> Damn it! Oh no, he didn't go for the easy one. I need like a line here or a diagonal. Okay, you're making this a little difficult for me. You little dirtbag. Stop moving around, please. <laughs> Just gonna be doing this all day, man. Damn it. Is there a flip the board option? Damn it. Oh. <laughs> if, I wear, if I wear the ring, will it not curse me anymore? Let's try that. That one left. No. Oh no, I think he cursed again.
That or Chris just doesn't go about five. Statue man. What? Why isn't it open? Got enough of that. Look at this place. Hmm. Bags full. Let's just go back. Get rid of the stupid cars. Engrams are strange and objects that can be taken to us for inspection. I'm looking at archetype. Receiver's band. Ooh, cool. Don't 
don't be a stranger, okay? Mr. Mayor should just listen more. I see you, traveler. You will. Sorry. Was this the first time? Lost for stone Ingram. Until next time. So once. Secondary Engram Alchemist. Concoction books? Uh, you just swap it out easily. Dog's gone. Potency. I mean, I'll switch back in a sec, but I'm curious. Here's the direction of consumables. Oh god, I rarely use consumables. Stone skin reduces incoming damage, reduces stagger. It really increases blight build up decay rate and makes it target minus stats effects. Press for a slime vial. Aim and throw the vial. Huh. So like... I gotta wait for it. I think I'll stick with Handler still for now. Could be a secondary one, whatever that does for me. matching has certain effects. What if I do it like Alchemist Spirited Grey Wolf? Interesting. I saw the yeah, I still have the dog even if it's my secondary. Huh. But I don't have the revive, I see. Five forty and four forty, maybe a little higher. Hope you ain't causing trouble, stranger. More work for me. Yeah, all right. 
I also picked up a bow. Not much to straight up. Rusty metal. Yeah, that'll two shot send a mass and one to the head. You again. All right, let's have a look. So, oh yeah, you just saw stuff. <laughs> so here got splitter time lapse. We'll take run your. Move along, traveler. Yeah. I don't know if she's still anything. Or anything. Oops. Sells a base of the wing, besides the armor I don't have for the sets. I can't really even check if this is better than what I had, I just liked it. Look cool. Give it a ways less, although if it's already a medium load, it doesn't really matter. Although apparently made of steel, they feel lighter than any boots you've ever worn. No, you feel lighter when wearing them. So far it's just my primary, it's like the least sci-fi fantasy looking thing about me. And the rucksack on my back. Welcome back, traveler. Care? Let me see here. Ho ho! So this wanderer comes up to visit me at my Mama Helio Helicopter, right? They're decked out with guns, but they, 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 they walk up and ask for stew and a story. I'm thinking they'll get tired, wander off, and take my story somewhere else like all the rest. But they don't. They listen. To all of it. And I think to myself, this mother actually wants to hear these. Reminds me of my ma, tell you the truth, the way <laughs> I'd listen to her. And the way my boy Brabus used to listen to me. Before he turned away... That wanderer reminded me of family. And that's the most important thing, ain't it? So, I figure, I ain't left long for this world. So I give them my wife's old watch and thanks. Oh. Ain't too long after that, my boy Brabus comes back in person, first time in years, with a watch chain peeking out his pocket. I knew a good thing when I saw it. I didn't say nothing. Just welcome the boy back like nothing had changed. Family's the most important thing we got in this world, young'un. Don't forget that. Don't think I told you this <laughs> one yet. It's about the time my own damn son left me to die. Oh, don't worry, I'm still here, ain't I? Or he, he went to get some grub for us or whatever, I don't know. Point is, I was alone. In the darkened woods with nothing but my rifle. We was on our way from the city to our new home in the ward here, carrying all my earthly possessions and all that. And Brabus, he up and leaves me in the middle of the night. I was attacked. Twenty. No, 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 no. Fifty dead would come crashing through the trees. We thought they was all dead and gone, but they were just a waiting for old Mud Tooth to leave his helio chopper. Now, I may be an old mudder, but I ain't no pushover. I blasted them down, left and right, laughing a 
all the time. <laughs> I was winning until something snuck up on me and concustipated me upside the head. I don't mind telling you, I thought I was done for. Then a growling starts. Deadwood back off, and I look up to see a dog there tearing them apart literal limb from non-metaphorical limb. We fought the rest off together, that dog and I, and I thought to myself, now there's a mutter what's got some teeth. Turns out he just wanted some of my stew. <laughs> <laughs> sure can. Well, let's see. Did I tell you I once sailed across that ocean to that old rusted tower? It was after that 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 wanderer came through here and cleared out the storm. Old mud tooth's crazy, you know, but I I ain't stupid. I tell you, I saw things down there that you ain't never seen in your life. Down there in that rusted place was just machinery. And root roots twisting every which way, like the root themselves had built it. But they didn't. No, that old place was called Ward 10 and 7. You can see it plastered all over. And it was built by humans. Mm, by the folks Ford himself used to serve, if you can believe that. Oh, he'll deny it, I'm sure. But all them electronicals they got down there are the same damn things you'll find in old Ward 10 and 3. And that place, I know he found it. He's the founder, after all. What were they up to down there? Now that's the question. I heard some answers myself, but I don't know if I believe them. <laughs> I dare's a story for another time. Ah, here's a good one. You met old Wally yet? The boy ain't right, but uh, not in a mutter way. He just ain't right. Talks to the root, he says. I reckon I know why, too. I ain't never told him this, but uh, I was there at his birth. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't believe me? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. But it's true. Why, I was there when he, uh, uh when he, um, uh, uh, uh don't believe me. Ha, you wouldn't be the first. But it's true. That boy Wally was born under a blood moon. <laughs> Always strange, they say. Harbinger of, 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 of changeification and whatnot. I heard him cry out his first breath. I did, and I says to myself, that ain't natural. Like the squall of some blackbird. Caw! Oh, uh, uh, don't tell him I said it. He wouldn't believe it anyway. Or uh, maybe he would, come to think of it. You talk to him yet? Boy ain't right. Ah, here's a good one. So, I got separated from the crazy eight. My gang, you see. We've been chased by these big old dead wood, taller than a man with ten times as many pointy bits. Ooh, nasty fellers. The others, they hold up in this old scrap building and slam the door. Left me for dead. There was no way in, but there were these old pipes underground. Sewage, <laughs> judging by the stink. <laughs> but I weren't gonna stay out there with Deadwood creeping round. So I held my breath and crawled through what must have been half a mile. I come busting out of the pipes and right into the middle of the crazy eight. They were holding me a funeral. <laughs> I stand up, covered in mud and God knows what else, and just smile at them. That's how we got the mud, 
is where I got the name Mud Tooth. Yeah. You won't believe this one, but you should. Crazy Eight traveled a lot after leaving Sanctuary. Came to this one town named a Ghost Well. No, Oak Hole. No, wait. It was Swan Creek. Swan Creek. I'm sure of it. Anyway, this Croakswell town didn't take time to strangers. <laughs> And that sure as hell meant us. We stayed anyway, of course. Brought them good scrounge, we did. Nobody scavenged like the crazy eight. And there was this girl. Smartest damn girl you ever met. Her old man, though. He didn't like us one bit. Especially me. So, one day, there's a banging on the doorstep. I open the door. And the girl's old man clocks me with the butt of his shotgun. Knocked out one of my teeth, he did. Then he points the gun in my face and starts shouting. Which one of you Astley holes got her in the family way, he says. I know it was one of you. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna argue with a man behind a gun. So I looks around, sees my tooth in the mud, <laughs> and says... Mud tooth! He's the one you're after! <laughs> and off he ran after someone who don't exist. Or or or, or didn't exist, I guess. We ditched Ghost Crack that day. <laughs> the name came with me. And that's the story of how Brabus was born. Oh my god. Except he weren't born yet, was he? Hmm. Not born then. The other thing. Conceptualize. <laughs> Conceptualize. This one's a uh, hundred percent true. I ever tell you about the time I killed three hundred deadwood in one go? Ooh, that's a tale. So I lived up in this old uh, uh, Helio Chapatakater, what you use it's great sniper's nest. Let me pop off deadwood from a mile away. But one night. I wake up to a rustling and a howling, right? I look outside, and there's deadwood all around the place. Hundreds of them. But they don't stop coming. And I'm thinking, this is finally it. But then, I see tucked away behind an old building, the cracked open end of an old gas main. So, I squint my good eye. And pray to Kennedy Jeebus and Cash. And I squeeze the trigger, and my bullet flies through the air like a hawk to a coney. Caw-caw! It scrapes the pipe, <laughs> and boom! Whole damn horde goes up in flames. <laughs> Not a single one of them left. <laughs> Deadwood never did bother me after that. <laughs> <laughs> this one's... Uh... Hundred percent true. You heard about the old wards, right? Hell, you should have. You're on top of one. The wards were where the root were born. Government experiments, you understand. Well, the oldest one, Ward uh, Goose Egg, it's called, was where it all started. And that's where it was worst, see? So, this, uh, a uh, mad scientist, uh, name of... Uh, his name was, uh... I'm awake now, and that's where it was worst, see? So this, uh, mad scientist by the name of, let me see now, what was his name? Leto was his name. He says there's only one way we can stop what we made and save the world. So he flies his helio popper. They, they, they flew back in those days, see? That's what they were built for. And he looks down at the ward where the root are pouring out like ants. And he says, blow that sucker up. 
And boy, they did. Blew the whole damn thing. <laughs> Didn't stop the root, though. I mean, obviously.
Be sure to let me know if you do.